I'm Zahra. Welcome, Zahra. How I can help you? I just wanted to comment on uh, the hadith. What hadith? Okay. Which one? The one with the, I don't know, the discharge. Okay, go ahead. Well, that hadith, I think it means when the women, mm. they have discharge. Okay. It's usually white or yellow. Okay. But when it's sexual, it comes like a fluid, like white fluid. But and that, that hadith, I think it's more like, by the way, English is not my first language. Uh, no problem. <laughs> It's okay. So, you see, let, let, let us read together, uh, me and you, Zahra. Let us read together. It says, the man water is a thick and white. What is that water? Wait, can you repeat it? It says in the front of me, and this is your Muslim translation, the messenger said, the man's water is thick and white. What is that thick and white water? Isn't it the semen? I don't know the semen. Yes, maybe. this is the man's sperm. Okay, now we, can, we move to the women. And you are a lady with my respect to you. And the women water is a thin and yellow. What is that water? It depends. Like some women, it comes in various. Some women have white, some women have yellow. Mm. But I don't know what's what, what is, is that? Is that an orgasm thing? No, like women have like a discharge. Like before, usually they have the menstrual. They have like discharges. It's mm. common for women. Yeah. But your prophet here is speaking about something happening in the moment. Which one, of, which one of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. So he's talking about coming first. What do you mean? Who comes, the comes of a man is his orgasm. The comes of the women is her orgasm. This idea in particular is just uh, to, because, um, to differentiate. Because some women, they don't know. Like if, if they should wash themselves, like as Muslims, after we have sexual intercourse, we wash ourselves. Mm. So that's, I think it's related to like, if the woman should, does she have to wash herself? Because she doesn't know, like for the prayer, like you have to shower. Okay, no problem. But, but your prophet here, let us go to the family. Your prophet, when a woman, she asked him about she having sexual dream. Okay. A sexual dream is the same as uh, normal sex. Yeah, it's common for human beings to have sexual dreams. No, no, no problem. And then you wake up. I am not so, judging. I'm not judging anything. I'm not saying. I'm just discussing what, what it is. So this is a woman. She came to your prophet saying that uh, uh, she had a sexual dream and uh, she noticed a water discharge. And your prophet, he is the one who described that this water is yellow and thin. Right? So she should she wash it? She should wash it. So this is something can be is washable, right? This is something washable. Yeah. Okay. So how the washable liquid in the vagina is the one who will make the baby female? In that particular sense, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not like a scholar. But I just know that in the, this particular hadith, it's related to purification. No problem. But as you see here, your prophet is claiming that the child resembled the parent or the mother because of that. Yeah. But can I just ask you a quick question? Sure. I don't know why, like, I think as Muslims, we believe in everything is destined. And I don't know why this was recommended to me, but I just, as a Muslim and you're an ex-Muslim, I don't understand why you have like the urge to talk badly about, about our, our prophet. Like just, as a human being, like even me, even if I don't believe in Buddha, mm. I wouldn't dare to be like, oh, he's not a good, I don't just nasty names. I, I don't, I just understand like a human being. Okay, and I, you're from I, Saudi Arabia. Can I answer you? You probably have Muslim families. And then I don't understand. That's I, just like as a human being. Can I answer you? Yes. Okay, first, I'm not an ex-Muslim. I never was a Muslim. I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Second. Your name is? My friend, listen. Uh, ex, I don't know. Okay, is it ex Christian, no, whatever? No, I don't know. My name is a Christian prince. prince. No, Christian prince. Listen, listen. Now, if somebody says that you are Najis, you are filth, you are the worst of the creatures, you are dirty, you are a kafir, you are you are evil, you are evil doer, you know, kill the Christians, kill the Jews. So why you are saying to me, why you are speaking against Muhammad when he say all those things about me as a Christian? Why you don't ask your prophet to do the same? If your prophet don't say we are kuffar, we are najis, we are filthy, uh, we, we should be killed, we should be slaughtered, 
uh, you know, uh, 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 humiliate them, destroy them. So then we will not, be, I will not be talking, why you don't talk about the Hindus? The Hindus don't believe in Christianity too. But it's you not. do know that in Prophet, uh, Prophet peace be upon him's time, when he ruled, the Christians, I mean the Jews, um, they lived there in peace. And then later, when the, this is a big the companions your prophet, your prophet, your prophet. they didn't destroy the churches no, no, and they no, didn't no, uh, destroy no, no, the no, synagogues, no, they, they did. actually helped they did. them. Do you know what There's a treaty, okay, just look up okay. Treaty of Umar, who okay. says that you are not allowed to destroy any churches or any places of worship or other faiths. Okay, no and there is no way that uh, there is no way that's written that Muhammad or any of the companions they 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 converted. I mean, they they spread the Islam by this word. Okay. As many people. Did you believe. mention? Did you mention to us the pact of Ahmad? Did you just say the pact of Ahmad? Yes. Okay. Do you have the courage to read it for me? The Treaty of Umar. I don't have it. Should I Google it? Yes, Google it and read it for us. As long as you are proud about it. The Treaty of Omar is a proof that Islam is a very bad religion. I, someone just said I'm older than you. No, I'm not older. I don't, I don't care today. how old are you. You're welcome to talk. No problem. I respect I'm, you. I respect you as a human being talking to me. Now tell me the Treaty of Omar. You are the one who mentioned it. And he says, Islam respect. Islam did not respect. And your prophet, he humiliated the Christians and he ordered to kill them all. Unless they pay the jizya. This is what the Treaty of Omar. So I want you to read for me the Treaty of Omar, please. Hey. <clears throat> is it called the Pact of Ignorance? The Pact of Omar. The Pact of Omar. He forbid them from building new churches. He forbid them from repairing churches. He for, forbid them from knocking the bells. A Christian, he have to wear a, 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 his weight of a cross in his neck if you want to wear a cross. If you ride a donkey, you have to uh, ride it in the wrong direction, which means your 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 butt to the back. And you, what are you talking about? This is what Muslims do to the Christians. They have to be humiliated. You cannot even teach the children Quran. You have to open your door and your house to any Muslim come to your house three days, three nights. Any Muslim now come to my house. You knock at my door. He ha he can. Should I read it? I just found it. Go ahead. A little bit long. Go ahead. No problem. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Mm. This is assurance of safety, which the servant of God, Umar, mm. a commander of faithful, mm. has, has given the people of Jerusalem. Mm. He has given them an assurance of safety. Mm. for themselves, for their property, their churches, their crosses, the sick mm. and healthy, mm. of the city, for all the rituals which belong to which belong to their religion. Their churches will not be in, inhabited by Muslims and will not be destroyed. Neither they, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional because this is who Muslims are. No, and I'm, your I'm friend, what, you, what you are reading, what you are reading, us what, you are reading really hates what are you reading is not the pact of Omar and you are lying. It's in the front of this me. This is the, the pact of Omar. The if pact, you just search it, the pact of Omar is in the front of me. It's, in the screen. it's hanging today. The it's pact, even hanging. The pact of Omar is in the front of me in the screen. Lady, read it. No, this is not the just so what is this? everyone can pull so, so it themselves. So, so, what, so, what everyone is this? so what is this? This so is not I don't so know what, what you found it. So what is this? What is this? What is in front of me now? Just Google for yourself. My friend, I am using Google too, like you. This is the pact of Omar. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the compassion, the, the letter of, of the Umar servant of Jerusalem. God, Umar al I don't know what you're talking about. The commander what you of the search? faith. Read, read, read with me. Read with me. Here we go. This is the Which pact source of Omar. are you using? Because this your sources the, really depend. Like if you're using someone who hates the Islam, pact of they'll Omar. write lady, something else. Lady, I want you to continue reading. Can you give me the link you, you, you are reading from? Can you post it to me? Okay. Okay. Give me the link. 
Okay, this is the link you gave me. I'm going to show it in the screen. You have to scroll that a little bit. No problem. Okay. Here we go. Tell me where to stop. Here we go. This is the Treaty of Amal, right? Here? This is the Treaty of Amal? This is all the treaty? This is not a treaty. Yes. They are, they are, this is not a treaty. What is the treaty? This is a false. What are the conditions? There's no conditions. This is not treaty of Amal. No, it's still hanging today. You can find it today. It's hanging. It's not, it's not, this is not, this is, this is the summary. This is the top of it. This is not a treaty. Let me show you the treaty. Here we go. I will, I will show in front of everybody in Google how to find the treaty. I will, I will show you. Here we go. I will search in Google in front of your eyes for the Pact of Omar. And you tell me which website you like me to click in. Do you see the screen? I'm not seeing anything on the screen. It's still the same page. Okay. The Pact of Omar. By the way, just... Do you speak off Arabic? Topic, do you speak, you're from do you, Saudi Arabia, right? Do you speak Arabic? What? You speak I don't Arabic. speak Arabic, but okay. I can read it a little bit. So, you know, you, you do not know even what the Treaty of Omar. The Treaty of Omar is a disgrace for a human, a human race. And let me show you how I can prove that easy. Is your prophet Muhammad a person you trust his word or not? I trust his word. Okay. Did your prophet Muhammad say respect the Christians or you have to humiliate them? We live as example friend, and you can see by example, don't, like he my, never my, my killed friend, any Christians friend, and he no, never no, killed no, any Christians. No, Muhammad, he killed all the Christians in the Arabian Peninsula. That's why we don't have Christians no more there. Don't tell me he did not. Your prophet, look what he said. And this is the back of Omar from your Islamic website too. Now look at this. Here, your prophet, he said. You see a Christian in the street. Force him to the narrowest road. To the narrowest road. Which means you have to insult him. All right? Now I want you to read for me. Is that your prophet talking or this is me talking? I have no idea what you're talking about. But Read with me carefully. Abu, as Abu Muslims, Hawira, no, know. Don't tell me as Muslims, no, this is a lie. You don't know what Islam then. You are a Muslim by, by name, maybe. You, you are just an emotional person who is crying for nothing. Abu Huraira, he said, I am the one who should be crying. It's your prophet who killed my family. It's your prophet who took my land. It's your prophet who destroyed my churches. It's your prophet who forced us to pay jizya. It's your prophet who slaughtered us. It's your Can prophet... I just ask let you? Let me ask you. Let me you ask you. Who, who is Sophia? Who is Sophia? Didn't he kidnap her after killing her family and her husband? Who is all those women he kidnapped from their husbands? Yeah. What are you talking about? Now read for me. Your prophet said, narrated the message of Allah, said, do not initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians if you meet them. And if you meet them in the road, Forced them to the most narrow part of the road. Do you know what does that mean? I think you just have so much hate for Muslims. You, are, you, you, are, you are the one who have hatred. The Quran in chapter 4, verse number 14, Allah, he says, I spread hate and enmity between the Christians. So if you want to blame me for hate, go and claim your God, Allah. Don't be a hypocrite. How can your God can be God, yet he is, a, he is a spreading hate between the Christians? And now why you don't answer? What kind of a prophet he says, if you meet a Christian in the street, spit in his face and force him to walk in the sewage okay can you just show me that hadith what, it's in what front of you about? if you see him in the street force him to walk in the most narrow alley this is the sewage can you go down and see if this is sahih everything we show is a sahih what do you mean it's a sahih i've never heard about this hadith well, you but never I heard know. anything you never heard of the back of Omar before you just have a, have a title, but you know, go and read the back of Amr, you don't want to read it for me. You start reading something to me, I have to do nothing, nothing to do with, here we go, this is Sahih Muslim. Are you going to say to Sahih Muslim is weak too? Hadith number 2167A, let us go to a different one. What about the Quran? Do you want to show you the Quran? The Quran says you have to humiliate me. So why are you crying? Can you, read for, can, you, can, can you read for me, can you read for me chapter 9, verse number 29, please?
this and I just have a question. Do you live in Saudi Arabia Doesn't and you're not Muslim? I live. I live in the moon. Can you read for me the verse, please? I don't have it in front of you. Okay, you have the chapter, chapter, chapter what? Chapter 9, verse number 29. I just don't understand why you my, my get friend, don't, don't understand. Don't you stop it. Don't you stop it. Everybody, everybody will see in a second that you are being hypocrite. It's your Quran. No, who, it's your Quran who insult us. Our Quran is inhumiliating us. Your Quran order you to kill us. And not only that, we have to pay you the money we we we, we make from our work in order to live. Okay, listen, first of all, hey, there are stop, stop that talking. Are read the verse. When they're read, in the, read the verse. So this, stop this talking. Verse stop is talking. Speaking like when they're in the war. What war? This is but as Muslims, hold on, hold on, rules. guys. Let's see. Let's the rules are if you're in war, you can kill hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said in the war, but Muhammad is the one that is attacking. Muhammad, he says, fight those who believe not in Allah. So why he want to fight us? Because we don't believe in Allah. <laughs> From who? From the Christian and the Jews. The Christian, they never fought Muhammad. The Christian, they give him asylum. They give him refugee in Ethiopia. Why he want to kill them? Because they don't believe in him. And then they pay the jizya. So what's the problem? If you pay Muhammad money, he will not kill you. And not only I'm that, not scholar, I, but I, I don't care if you are a scholar or not. Your prophet, he says you are half a brain according to his Fighting family. in this Do sense, it, it, it doesn't mean like they are going to fight like it's in the war. It's not up to you. Can you. I just read the verse. Hold on. Do you like me to show you the interpretation for the verse? Or you will say to me that the interpretation of the scholars of Islam, they, it's a lie. Okay, they are, fight those who do not believe in Allah or in the last day and mm. who do not consider unlawful what mm. Allah and his messenger have made unlawful mm. and who do not adapt the religion of truth from those who were given the scripture. Mm. Fight until they give the jizya willingly while they are humble. Not humble. They are going to be So it means like they are fighting own. to give the jizya. Jizya means like the tax. Ah, the tax, guys, tax. You take our land, you take our home and we pay you tax? Tax for what? To stay alive. Let me show you how you like yourself. In the front of everybody. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Look with me in the screen. Everybody will be laughing at you in a second. How you are lying to yourself, trying to defend Islam desperately, and you are he crying. Said, first of all, let me just tell you one just thing. To, no, okay. no, 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 don't change the topic. 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 Even if we disbelieve, Listen. even if we disbelieve, it doesn't matter. Allah will replace us so with much better person. There are angels. So, so if, 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 if it doesn't are, matter, hold on. If, 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 if it doesn't are matter, arms that hey, 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 big mouth. Allah doesn't need us, okay? If Allah does not, if it doesn't matter, shut up. Shut up. If it doesn't are matter, listen, there are angels. Don't make me hang up on you. Hey, big mouth. If it doesn't matter if we believe or not, why Muhammad says kill exactly. them wherever you find them? Why you want to kill them? Then? Why you want to kill us? Why he want to kill us if it doesn't matter? Allah will judge us in the judgment day. They're making money right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is Let, the only let's see who's making you're money. They're making okay, money. Everyone's okay, okay, making money. Okay, okay. No, they're you're talking bad about Islam. You're a prophet. Right is the one is making million. money and you are a scumbag like a prophet. And let me get your busted big mouth. And it's the pact of Umar from the 7th century supposed to have been the peace accord offered by the caliph umar to the christians of syria a pact which formed the pattern of later interaction gives an idea of the rules that christians and other non-islamic populations had to follow now that they were subjects of the caliph here is the text as follows we heard from abdul al rahman ibn granam as follows when Umar ibn al-Khattab, may God be pleased with him, accorded a peace to the Christians of Syria, he wrote to him as follows. In the name of God, the merciful and compassionate, this is a letter to the servant of God, Umar, commander of the faithful, from the Christians of such and such a city. When you came against us, we asked you for safe conduct for ourselves, our descendants, our property, and the people of our community and we undertook the following obligations toward you. We shall not build in our cities or in their neighborhood new monasteries, churches, convents, or monks' cells, nor shall we repair by day or by night such of them as fall in ruins or are situated in the quarters of the Muslims. 
We shall keep our gates wide open for passers-by and travellers. We shall give board and lodging to all Muslims who pass our way for three days. We shall not give shelter to our churches or in our dwellings to any spy, nor bide him from the Muslims. We shall not teach the Quran to our children. We shall not manifest our religion publicly, nor convert anyone to it. We shall not prevent any of our kin from entering Islam if they wish. We shall show respect toward the Muslims. We shall rise from our seats when they wish to sit. We shall not seek to resemble the Muslims by imitating any of their garments, the kalasua, the turban, footwear, or the parts of the hair. We shall not speak as they do, nor shall we adopt their kunyas, the name of an adult derived from their child, especially their eldest son. We shall not mount on saddles, nor shall we gird swords, nor bear any kind of arms, nor carry them on our persons. We shall not engrave Arabic inscriptions on our seals. We shall not sell fermented drinks. We shall not clip the fronts of our heads. We shall always dress in the same way wherever we may be. We shall bind the zunar round our waists. We shall not display our crosses or our books in the roads or markets of the Muslims. We shall use only clappers in our churches very softly. We shall not raise our voices when following our dead. We shall not show lights on any of the roads of the Muslims or in their markets. We shall not bury our dead near the Muslims. We shall not take slaves who have been allotted to the Muslims. We shall not build houses overtopping the houses of the Muslims. When I brought the letter to Umar, may God be pleased with him, he added, we shall not strike a Muslim. We accept these conditions for ourselves and for the people of our community, and in return we shall receive safe conduct. If we in any way violate these undertakings for which ourselves stand surety, we forfeit our covenant, Dima, and we become liable to the penalties for contumacy and sedition. Umar ibn al Kitab replied, Sign what they ask. But add two clauses and impose them in addition to those which they have undertaken. They are, they shall not buy anyone made prisoner by the Muslims. And whoever strikes a Muslim with deliberate intent shall forfeit the protection of this pact. I have been your host, Daniel Maynard. 